off with two coats of American Classics Bridge the Ridge because um, the polish that I'm using, which is metallic green from Clean Color, stains really bad. So I used two coats today. And then for stamping, I'm using uh, Mundo de Uñas Black. And then for my pointer finger, I'm going to make a decal using the black. And I'm going to fill in the snake's eye with China Glaze's Daisy Know My Name. And then um, I'm going to use some OPI Alpine Snow behind the Daisy Know My Name to make the yellow eye really pop. I didn't do that on my right hand, and I regretted it. And then I'll also be using Wet n Wild Clear to help with the decal making. I guess I'm not really making a decal. It's more the advanced stamping technique. So for the snake scales, I'm just using this black stamper that I got from Amazon for like $2. And then to place the snake eye correctly, I'm going to be using my clear jelly stamper. Okay, and around my fingers, just to protect my cuticles, I'm going to be using some liquid latex. And this is liquid latex that I bought in a big tub from Amazon. And I just put it in this old um, American Classics uh, top coat bottle. And I really get really close to my cuticle, like right on top, and try to seal off anything there that could possibly get that black stamping polish on there because it's such a pain to clean up. And it does clean up with tape sometimes, but I feel like this um, plate that I'm getting ready to show you, it's etched so deeply, which is good, but um, it makes the, the cleanup method with tape harder for me because the stamping is so thick. Okay, so while that dries, I'll show you the plates. Um, for the snake eye, I am using BMS151. And there's my little snake eye there. See him? He's spooky. And then for the snake scales, I'm using this plate right here. Whoops, sorry. Just blinded you. This is an Ajubis plate, EJB04. And they just did a whole bunch of new plates. Um, and I want to get those two. I'm sure they're etched just as well as this one. So while my liquid latex is, latex is drying, I'm going to make this snake eye. And you just cover your image just like you were going to normally stamp. And then I'm going to just pick it up. There's my image. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit of Daisy Know My Name, and I'm just going to put it on my mat here. This is a Bundle Monster Lotus mat. And just a couple little drops. Let's get that so you can see. I'm jumping about. There you go. Just a couple little drops right there. And then I'm going to take my Pure Color number 10 brush. I got this the same place I got my stamper, which is Cosette's Nail Shop. And I'm just going to paint in his eye. You see his eye there? So I'm just going to paint that in with the Daisy Know My Name. Okay. And then what I like to do is check it from the other side. I'm not sure if the light's going to let you see that, but see how it's all colored in? I'm going to check it, and I can see just a couple little spots that are still showing through, so I'm just going to go over that. Okay, and then I'm going to let that dry, and after that is dry to the touch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just touch my finger on the top of it, and if I can see my fingerprints, then I know that it's not ready yet, and if I can't, then I'm going to go ahead and go in with my white. So I'm going to let that dry. And I will stamp my middle finger. And the main thing to remember with these EJB plates is that you need to, after you've stamped it, you need to give it a few seconds to dry. I am so almost out of black. Oh my gosh. And I actually emailed the um, lady from Mundo de Uñas and asked if they were 
making a summer collection because I really need to order more black and more white. Um, but it takes like a month for your order to get the, to get to the States. And she said that they were coming up out with a new collection and it would be ready in a couple of weeks. So um, I'm going to wait my order. <laughs> um, okay, so anyway, after I've picked this up, I'm going to let it dry for a little bit like count to 10 before I put it on because otherwise it will smear because there's so much stamping polish on here. This is not something you would normally do. Normally you pick it up and you stamp it right on. But with these plates, you really need to wait. Okay, so I'm just going to, here's the image, and I'm just going to press my finger right into it. And there we have it. Looks good. Didn't smear at all. So that is fabulous. Okay. So now I'm going to get my little snake eye here. And I can't see, see my fingerprints anymore. So I'm going to take my OPI Alpine Snow. And um, I'm not going to use my little brush for this. I'm just going to really clean off my brush so that there's a tiny, tiny bit on there. And I'm just going to cover that eye. Now what this is going to do is it's going to really make that eye pop since it's going to be stamped over that green background. Yep, looks good. So now we'll take our clear coat from Wet n Wild. And this is not a top coat, it's just a clear coat. You hear my kids playing in the background? They woke up from their nap and now they're playing nap time. So, there's that. <laughs> okay, now the reason that we paint the clear over that is because the black stamping has already dried. And so when you paint the clear over it, then it gets it wet again. But it has to be almost dry before you transfer it onto your nails. It's it's weird, but it works, I swear. So, I'm... okay, now I'm not sure how well this is gonna show, but you just kind of touch it real lightly and you can't see my fingerprints anymore. So now it's time to line it up. So you just take his little eyeball and you just kind of play with it until it's in the right spot for you. And then I just stamp it down and lift it up and the whole thing is going to transfer. So there you can see. And you can compare and see that the one on my right hand over here is less bright because I did not use that white underneath it, which is why I always do my right hand first because my left hand's my picture taking hand. So I always want that one to be the best. So I am going to um, take off my liquid latex and clean up and I'll be right back. Bye. Okay, here is my finished manicure. I really hope you guys liked this video. I had a lot of fun with it. This um, manicure is for the um, Claire Estelle challenge on Instagram. And the prompt was post a mani that you've never posted before. And I did this one a long time ago and I never posted it, so I redid it. And I'm gonna post it here in just a little bit. And I'm really excited because um, today's the last prompt for this month. So that means that um, she'll post a new one here today or tomorrow. And um, then I can kind of do a video showing you how I get ready for the challenges. So, all right, well, um, I hope everyone has a great night. And thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great night, bye.